Hello, I'm Bill Simon. I am a CPA, and I'm the founding partner of WH Simon & Company, a CPA firm located in Florida that specializes in representing people that have tax problems. We do work throughout the country, in fact, do a lot of international work. Today, I would like to talk to you about an area that is under severe scrutiny by IRS that may involve your business. If you own any type of business where you accept any type of credit card or debit card and those funds go through a merchant account and ultimately end up in your bank account, then you are, you are in fact subject to scrutiny by IRS because now there is an information form filed with the Internal Revenue Service annually that shows the amounts of money that went through your various merchant accounts. And that total amount is then compared by computer with your tax return. If that total amount does not fall within certain tolerances of the difference between what was reported on your return and what was reported to IRS, then there's an inquiry made by IRS. That inquiry may be simple as a letter saying explain the difference, and the response to that letter could be very critical unless you have a very valid explanation as to why this difference is there. Or it could mean a contact by an examining officer who has this information available and then wants to audit your tax return. And it would typically start with one year, but if they find discrepancies that you can't explain, they will expand that to more years. And lastly, if they f are not satisfied that this was just a technical error, that this was something you intentionally did, then you could find yourself confronted with a criminal investigation of filing a false tax return and committing tax evasion. So these are critical areas. The manner in which these notices and contacts are responded to is very critical. You need someone that is experienced in doing this. We strongly recommend that you do not use the tax preparer who prepared your tax return unless you are totally satisfied that this was just a very insignificant area, the error that was made. Because keep in mind, if the CPA prepared your return, or the return preparer, be certified or not, and they made the error, then in their represent, representation to you of you before the IRS, they have a conflict of interest because they've got to accept the responsibility. And that is not easy for firms to do. They don't typically want to admit they made the error when they're dealing with IRS and signing a tax return as a preparer. We recommend that you secure the services of another party to review this situation make sure that it's simply an error and that there's no further exposure to this. We at WH Simon & Company have extensive experience in doing this. We've represented a lot of these cases and been very successful in meeting and reaching an agreement with IRS that is satisfactory to all the parties. I appreciate your attention on this matter. Be more than happy to provide you with a free consultation on this issue and any other tax issues you might have with IRS, you can contact us at the number listed below. Thank you very much.